Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Alex Reyes, and welcome to Point Fighter Live. Today, we got uh, a great guest, uh, Sergio Speedy Brandon, and he's going to be, he won the Memphis Open uh, this past weekend. Uh, thanks for joining us. How's everything today? Everything? Hey, every, everything's well, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Glad to be here, sir. Yeah, man. I hope everybody out there had a great weekend, and it was an awesome weekend for sport karate. That was actually four yeah. point events. And you were at the Memphis Open. You won the guitar. Congratulations to every, all the winners. Gina Thornton was there yeah. as well. It was it was pretty. It was a great event. Huh? It looked like an awesome event. It was, man. Joey Joey put on an awesome event. Uh, actually, uh, Mr. Young was the one who talked me into it. I was working. We were working out Thursday. He asked me what my next one was. I told him it was a couple this weekend. He said which one was the closest one. I said it was Memphis. He said, "Hey, just go." He said, "Whatever happens, you know, just go." You got, you know, the WKU next week. Then you got the WKC tryouts, you know, first weekend in March. Then you got Marty. So, hey, you get as much ring time as you can. So he was like, bump it. He said, I don't want to see you not there. So I, I got to thank Mr. Young on that one. He told me to go. So I packed the kids up, drove six six hours, took care of business, drove six hours back. So it was a six-hour drive for you? Yeah, yeah, it was about six hours. Cut through Alabama, cut through Mississippi, right up to Tennessee. Hey, was was it your first time at a Pro Mac event? Or it was you... my first time at a Pro Mac. It really was. All right. So, how do you enjoy the, the whole tournament? Just so uh, it, it, it was it was pretty good. They had they have uh, this thing called round robin. That was that was a little different for me. So you end up getting to fight everybody. So um that that was that was different in the sense of where that, if you you did that as well. Yeah, we we did that as well. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Right, so you won the power ring. So you won the, the you won you won your division, then you won the the overall. You won the yeah. Ring. So overall was for the guitar, and then open weight was for the power ring. That's how that's how he broke it up. Wow. Oh man. So you won both. I won. I won both. I won Ooh. both. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. To do both. That's like a sweep, pretty much, right? Yeah. It, it is. It it especially having having two years on that level of competition off, you know, it, it felt good to to go and take care of business. And, you know, Gina's, Gina's right in my, Gina's right in my ear. And she's like, Hey, you know, you should, you know, win both of these. And, you know, it was good to bring that into reality. Yeah, man, that's great. Hey, uh, going back to Tony Young, he's a guy that would just, I remember him competing every weekend pretty much. I remember yeah. going up to a tournament down here in Fort Lauderdale and I was like, you know, I look and I drive when they're when they're calling the division. He just pops out of nowhere. I'm like, that, that's Ty. <laughs> that's Ty. He 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 show up and get it when he can. He never really stopped either. He he was like that until he stopped competing. Like he was right. just every weekend. Kevin Walker is kind of like that as well. Yep, yeah. Kevin Walker hit up. He if it if it's in driving distance, he would go. If he can afford the flight, he's flying. He's everywhere though. Hey, so. It's obvious Tony Young wants you guys to do that as well. Uh, you know, he, he tells you guys, hey, you know, go go compete this weekend. That, like, what, right. what benefits from that, like, as far as competing a lot, like being super active? Uh, well, I mean, it to me personally, I, I like it because it, it's a different – the timing is different. You know, when you're sparring, you know, you're, you – you work on it a little bit, but it's it's not as 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 sharp as when you as it has to be when you go yeah. to compete. You got your adrenaline flowing. You get tired a lot faster. You got you know a lot of outside distractions. So you're you you have to be on point. So the more you compete, the more you can hone yourself and become one with yourself, and then get what I call a lot sharper. So that's why I hey, like I, to compete as much as possible. Yeah, especially when you're preparing yourself for the bigger tournaments. Right. Like, uh, you know because. It's not easier most of the time because there's always those local favorites. Right. So, so it, it sometimes it's even been harder for me to win. You know, I'm like, man. So I remember competing. I was like, man, it was harder to win a first place today than it was. Than at it the, was at the national. Right. Than, like, because of the you know the fighter I had had a big crew behind them. Yeah. I had to go against that as well. So I, it gets you like you said tournament ready, and then sometimes fighters they don't have. School like schools, you're lucky. You have great training at the school, right? You got a lot of people that come out and train. But sometimes, like some people don't have a lot of sparring. Yeah, parties. some people don't have that fortune. Just like these local fighters, they're not fortunate enough to go to a lot of national 
um, tournaments where, you know, us fortunate ones can go to maybe, you know, three, four or five a year. They're lucky to get in one. So they, they stay on the local tournament and, and build their name there. So that's where you fight those guys, those hometown fan favorites. Yeah, for sure. I like it. I think that everybody should, even, you know, national champions, they should compete. Cause it all, it's also good for the sport. You know, you start to build that fan base as well. And uh, talking about a fan base, you're doing a great job as well with the speed kills. Right? Thank you. I thank you. Hey. Sure. Hey, there it is. <laughs> right? A yes, sir. Of- yes, sir. Hey, so I know that you're doing drills and, and you're offering seminars, private classes, and just where did this all, this idea all come about? Uh, so to be honest, it's, it's kind of like a, a sister page. So if if you guys are familiar with uh, Kevin, Kevin Walker has his um his uh, case with coaching. So he has that. And um, a lot of I even talked to him about a lot of people have branched out and was like, hey, man, you know, what's your perspective on things? You know, we would like to know your perspective on fighting and this and this and that. And at first I was like, nah, you know, that's that's Kevin's thing. You know, he's he's the one, you know, hook him up, hook him. And then I, I sat down and talked with Kevin. He was like, nah, man. Go for it and do it. Like you said, it's 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 more than one way to throw a back fist. It's more than one way to throw certain techniques. You know, my mind, my way of doing things isn't yours. So you know, go out and show people yours. So it's it's yeah. it's just my way of giving back. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that we need to see more of that. You know, and I love the branding as well with the shirts and just like that's really how you create fans. Yeah, right? that's something the sport needs because uh, I've been seeing your shirts out there. And people wearing them, and then you just start getting a a following, you right? Know? And that's that's kind of that's kind of exactly what happened, you know. Is is it started right. out, which I mean, it's I, I expect to start out slow and small, and then you know I'm just seeing my shirts everywhere, and I'm I'm not going. It's it's truly humbling, and it's truly a blessing. And um, like I said, I'm 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 honored, man. It's it's and it's so- truly humbling. That logo is good too. That's you right there, right? That's that is me. The crazy part is my daughter took this picture. In her bedroom, I was I was in there doing doing the uh, blitz, and she took it, and I made it a silhouette, and it came up with the speed kills with a Z on it. So that's yeah. that no. was awesome. No, it came out perfect. Hey, um, uh, just a quick shout out to the sponsors, uh, Doris Brothers. Uh, they're the ones that sponsor the Power Rings. Yeah, uh, awards. Contact them. Doris Brothers been around for years and years. Uh, ASG, another great company. Uh, sport karate here. Jason and- Chin. Jason Chan, there'll be no there'll be no point fighter if it wasn't for him because he really brought me out. And then of course, true. I think top ten, they got also sport karate stuff, but they also have you know uh, mats, gear. I I mean uh, boxing, Muay Thai, other sports, right? Bags, belts. It's a whole you know store. So uh, fightersinc.com. Make sure you guys support the sponsors. And then we have a few tournaments coming up this weekend. We got compete national. And that's in California. You know, it's going to be an awesome event. The only West Coast NASCAR tournament. So it's wow. It's, it's pretty different. Uh, you know, you get a different experience. And then Clearwater Open Karate Championships. Uh, they're giving out 250 for men and 250 for women. I'm going to actually be there at this one. So it's going to be a great sport karate weekend as well. And hey, so what's your next tournament? Uh, so we got um, WKU Pan Ams and and yeah, and this weekend in Texas. Then after that, we got the WKC tryouts at Mister Young's. Then um, Marty Eubanks tournament. Then uh, we have another local tournament here. And then um, uh, I think I have a seminar scheduled for the twenty eighth of March. And then um, I'll see what happens in April. I haven't got that far yet. Hey, you're booked. You're booked. yeah. March is March is booked. March is full. <laughs> March is full. <laughs> Hey, that's good. So you got April uh, coming up. If you guys need a seminar or private, uh, you know, you contact uh, Sergio. Um, he's, he's awesome. You know, speed kills. Now, one of the cool things about your speed, you know, is that you're, uh, you know, you're, you're a smaller fighter. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, a lot of times that happens where the smaller fighters, you know, they're, they're kind of like, maybe you could give us some tips on fighting a bigger fighter. You know, especially sometimes right. this happens also in the junior divisions. Yeah. Where there's like a kid that's like eight or nine, and there's a, sometimes a big difference, you yeah. know, or girls like twelve and thirteen and ten and eleven. Sometimes right. they get taught, they grow faster for some reason uh, than other kids, so they kind of get hesitant. But what's your right. mindset into fighting uh, 
you know, bigger opponents? I actually prefer to fight bigger opponents. People call me crazy, but you, when when a smaller, faster fighter can fight a bigger opponent, he can dictate yeah. the fighter much better. Uh, whereas fighting a smaller fighter, they're both quick and fast, so the fight's constantly going like this. You constantly got to make changes. But as far as a bigger fighter, um, the most two the two most important things are lateral movement and angles. Um, a lap a bigger person can't move as fast laterally. As a yeah. smaller person, so I like to do what's called open them up, where I, they where they're their traditional stance. You bring that chest around. As that chest starts to come around, then I, I explode or whatever. Or as they start to creep, you know, you frustrate them with the lateral movement because they can only move left or right, yeah, so fast. So I do that. I like to get the lateral movement, and then, like I said, as that chest opens up. I take advantage of that. And, I mean, I so, got a whole two minutes yeah, to do that. It's an advantage that you could go into. It. They got the power side. But right. Side, and uh, this is point fighting, so you could have that advantage of being first. Being first. Exactly. You know, so that's that's your way. So how about the lighter guys? Some of the Tell me some of the fastest fighters you fought. Because you're really fast. Yeah. But has there been fighters you're like, man, this guy's just as fast as me? Well, yeah, I've actually fought. Joe Fife, uh, no. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I hey, fought I Joe Fife. Because he's underrated. He was so underrated, I yeah, think. Oh, the, man, yeah. I, Joe Fife. Victor. Oh, I, man. Got, I had somebody call me there for a second. My bad. Oh, you're good. My, my student, Victor, he was always like. Um, Victor Suarez, yep. I fought Victor. He was, he was fast. So, Joe yeah, Fife. Hey, but, but he told me that Joe Fife, out of everybody he fought, like when he fought, you know, his time was like Robbie's, yeah, you know, the Willie, and like you know, super fast guy Hamed. He yeah. said that Fife was the fastest, yeah. Out of Fife, all Fife so is yeah. Fife, Fife, and he's he's you know, he's fast, but it's like he has an extra gear, it's like he's yeah. sneaky fast, it's, yeah. it's crazy, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, um, just uh, you know, you've had a great career, and uh, you've had you know, you've, you've won a bunch of titles already, like traveling and stuff. But I also saw that you've had some some pretty cool fights. Like, I seen you fight in a cage, a point fight match in a cage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ask you that question because yeah. it's kind of like you know cage fighting, point fighting. Stuff. Well, it, well, I call it a kennel because it was it was super small. I call it a people call it a cage. I, I joke. It was at a bias <laughs> tournament. Yeah, it was like yeah. more- we style right yeah it was a bias tournament it was uh it was um they have it in augusta it was a it was a cage but i called it a dog kennel it was so small but we, we was in there scrapping <laughs> we was in there scrapping hey but it looked pretty cool you know Would yeah. you like, like what are your thoughts on maybe sometimes having a ring like let's say a boxing ring or like a different type of ring you know i think it looks kind of cool yeah, uh-huh. it, it definitely it definitely is cool. Just like I, I get fascinated watching, you know, old school fights where they're in boxing rings, you know, for the finals. So I thought I thought that was pretty unique. You know, it, it changes the dynamic of the fight up a little bit, you know, so it's yeah. it's fun. Yeah, it does. I remember the Battle of Atlanta was like that and, and I remember my fighters, my, my well, I was coaching my my team and I remember telling them pin them against the ropes and then you yeah. know get them pinned to the ropes and then you follow yeah. to get yeah, them so th- change. The dynamic, but also I think it won't. It, it wouldn't change it as much if it's a bigger boxing ring. I think it depends right. on the size because you could have a big boxing ring that's like yeah. oversized, you know, and it's plenty of room. But I think it looks cool. Uh, you know, it'll be cool. Like let's say a nighttime show. The only thing yeah. with a nighttime show, though, forms people sometimes need more space too, right? To right, be- right, right. But I don't know. It'll be cool. Maybe they can have a boxing ring. And a, and a regular stage, or or you could do it like WWE style, where they just lower it, lower it right on the ring. <laughs> Ooh, that's <laughs> that a, pretty cool. That's a lot of money there, but <laughs> oh yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> that's a lot you of got money. it. That takes a lot. Of- <laughs> <laughs> hey, so this weekend, like you said, you got the WKU, and mm-hmm. you've been, you've come, you've been. Uh, it's a Pan American Championships, right? So this is like, is it a separate title? The, the pan, or is it a qualifier? It's it's kind of both. It's a it's a tournament and a qualifier. So it's it's all in the same. So right. so all right. So where's the where's the WKU uh, finals this year? At? Uh, WKU will be in Quebec this year. 
Oh, it's in Quebec. It, it, yeah, it will be in Quebec. Either Quebec or Montreal. Either way, it's in Canada. Oh, in Canada. So it's in Canada. Canada. Yeah. Because usually it's out in in um in Europe or whatever. Yeah, it's always in Europe. This is the second time it's on this side. We had it in Florida, and then we have it uh in Quebec. And uh, WKC is also in Madrid in Spain. So I'm yeah. I'm hitting that up as well. Yeah. So you got two world champions. How? Yeah. What's the difference between fighting for like your country at these world events that? And fighting like in a in a national event here in the U.S., what's the di- biggest differences? Um, on a national, so you get you know you got all you got all your USA guys you know on your back and rooting for you. Where in NASCAR, you, you fighting all of them. So that's to be honest, that's that's the biggest difference. <laughs> that's that, the biggest difference, right? That is pretty cool. Having yeah. all these guys behind your back, you know, have rooting for you and your you know guys that you compete with, they're not on yeah. your team or anything. And uh, but they're on your team now. Hey, you got one country, one goal, and that's to get that goal. Yeah, man, that's cool. The excitement is is really cool when it comes to that. So through the roof is through the team fighting has to be the the best of the best. That's where it all comes down to. It's oh man, that's I love it. That's that's really my I, I like winning that more than my own individual. If I can if I can go out there and help my win win teams, my my trip was worth it. My trip was worth yeah. it. For sure. Hey, it's great to see you out there again. And like you, you were basically out for like two years, right? Yeah. Um, like so, what happened? You had it. You had an injury. Oh uh, well, in two, well, in two thousand eighteen, we was in Greece at WKU tournament, and I tore a, uh, I tore a muscle in my shoulder. So that sidelined me for a bit, and then I had, I just recently had a son, so uh, I was able to compete. I just, you know, yeah. was pretty much uh resting the injuries i was still training and um you know being a father being a husband we just bought a house um so just taking care of family stuff right. but um yeah but yeah but now i mean i told my wife i said hey 2020 if if i'm off i'm going to it i don't care where it's at i'm i'm there so i'm just trying to get some ring trying to get some ring rust off and get back out there hey so you were just you were just done teaching a class right working out yeah uh, where, where is it at? That's Lazenby School? No, this is actually uh, Zach Ross, the Ross Brothers. Oh, Ross? So, yeah, it's at his school. Ah, okay, okay. So you teach there as well? Yeah, on Tuesdays, I teach the fighting class for him. Nice. And how about the training? What, what are the – I know George is a hot spot for um, – Yeah. For, and I know you train at Tony Young's, right, on Thursdays? Yeah. Yep. I train on Tony Young's on Thursdays, and then Chris Walker always has a um, – yeah, a workout every other Sunday. So every other Sunday we get to work out with those guys. Yeah, man, the talent level is amazing there, right? I'm, it is. It is. You can definitely see it on Sunday. You know, it's it's no egos. Everybody's in there working. You know, trying to get the best of each other. You know, we pick each other's mm-hmm. brains. It's all about getting better. I, I I love the Sunday workouts. For sure, man. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us on the show. Uh, it was great to have you first time. For I sure. Think it was the first time on the show. No, nah, it's like my third. third right? <laughs> it's yeah. like my third time on but here. In this, format, in this format, right? In this format, with the no, nah, this this my this my second oh. time in this format. Oh yeah. man, bye 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 bye. Yeah, it's all good. It's all <laughs> good. Wow, since you since you it was yes, yeah, it's, it's been it's been a minute. It's yeah, been a while. Back and uh, I hope to have you on uh, uh you know many other times. Thanks of course. Also, times you helped me with my page and oh and yes sir updates for sure. Make sure you guys support them. Uh, speed kills that can they order a shirt from you yeah like i said it's uh i'm working on the website now but hey you, you can inbox me um just had a couple guys hit me up this week sent terry floyd shirt out today so appreciate that appreciate the love terry floyd so yeah just hit me up let me know color size they're 25 go on your weight got cool little wristbands too hey speed <laughs> kills <laughs> sure man thanks for joining us and also seminars privates make sure you book them already all right Okay, have a great night, man. Take care. Much love, sir. Power, baby. We'll see you soon.